Hey guys, it's Kara FSU. Um, today I'm just going to be talking a little bit about the pencils and their history, the evolution from pencils to computers in the digital age today. Um, I'm going to be using Dennis Barron's A Better Pencil to help me explain my points a little better. And yeah, I just I hope you guys enjoy it. First, um, pencils are one of the earlier forms of technology that are still used today. Everyone knows that. In the 16th century, Henry David Thoreau actually made pencils for a living and he perfected the pencil we know today. Um, but the attachment of the eraser right here is something that happened in the mid-19th century. It made pencils a clear frontrunner in technology. It was the newest, the best thing out there. Nothing was better than pencils with erasers attached. Even though pencils are a newer form of technology than pens, we still assume that they're just the most natural way to write. We just assume that that's the progression it went in. Um, the Lead Pencil Club even says pencils are responding directly to the mind. So people still like pencils, but the transition is happening where it's more computer oriented. So in more recent years, teachers concluded that typing created the most direct path from mind to page. So, but even with people abandoning pencils, on paper for computers, um, pencil sales have only increased recently. Okay, so enough about pencils. What about computers? Where do they come in? Um, here, let's read this. Plato actually warned us that um, technology and writing might weaken the human mind, but we found that to be completely untrue. Researchers have actually concluded that there were educational advantages for typists who, in earlier grades, um, used computers more. They were small, but they were important. Um, so as well as that, they also determined that in the later grades, those students who typed outperformed their non-typing peers in subjects like reading, math, even geography, so basically anything. Um, in school, computer-generated text is becoming the norm. Computers bring more words to us faster than any other technology, so faster is better, and that's the way things are moving. Um, computer is giving both writers and readers the opportunity to produce and consume massive amounts of text. Just the information overload is enormous. Um, they do complicate the mix by recording our online behavior and making that information available to third parties, but that's a completely different topic. We're not going to talk about that. Um, so in my opinion, this should really be called the age of computer information because it's very computer oriented. Um, so basically, in conclusion, the digital revolution is changing what we do with words because it's enabling more people to communicate in more ways from longer distances, it's faster. Um, as technology evolves, the trends will evolve along with it. So even though it first went from the pencil as the new best thing, um, now there's computers, there will be something next, but the old technology won't be completely obsolete. There will still be those people who always believe that pencils are the fastest way from mind to paper.